Hi, I'm Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts and I'm at Fat Quarter Shop. We're doing beautiful videos for our new book, Pillow Talk. Oh, girls and boys, you're gonna be so excited to make those pillows. Our first class in pillow making, we're gonna take it nice and easy on you. But don't fool yourself, I have my eye on you if you're gonna use my directions and follow some really nice tips. So we're gonna start by making simple strip pillows. What that means that all of the pillows that I chose for you today on the table have strips in it. Sometimes strips feel like they're so easy. We just take two, sew it together, boom, done. Sometimes they give us a little bit of trouble. So let's address all of those fun things and make sure that our strips lay nice and flat and work beautiful for us. I chose a pillow uh, liberty to start with it. We're gonna do some strips just going horizontal for liberty. We're gonna make a flag pillow. And then a, another pillow that I chose for you, we're gonna do a chevron. So the strips are gonna be a little bit on an angle. Once you learn how to make a one, you can make a dozen and you can make anything out of strips, even a shirt or a dress. So I'm gonna push those a little bit to the side and let's start up with the first one. When you start, you're gonna open a kit or you can go ahead, follow the direction and cut strips yourself. And you're gonna cut one blue rectangle that's gonna be right for the corner. Then you're going to cut a shorter strips in red and light. I'm gonna start laying them out look at how cute they are i love the kits because everything is already pre-cut for you perfectly and we do press the fabrics before we pre-cut so they are nice and uh, have a little stiffness to it if you need to press them before you lay out your design i'm just gonna open this kit lay things out and enjoy it and get ready for my next step what it's going to be sewing oh look at this you have three light longer strips and then three red longer strips so total strips you're gonna have seven red strips and you're going to have six light strips oh look at this how nice it looks let's make it nice and even perfect our pillow is laid out there's also a two larger strips for the top and a bottom of your pillow. How am I going to start? I'm going to start by sewing my shorter strips first. Why am I starting here? To practice a little bit. On a shorter distance, it gives me a little bit more confidence before I go to the long one. I'm gonna take two strips, I'm gonna place them right sides together, and yes, I'm gonna use my beautiful pins, and those are the patchwork glass head pins my personal favorite and i'm gonna pin it beginning right here and notice how i position my pin pinning towards the seam that i'm going to sew why do i do this so by the time as i take my stuff from the table to my sewing machine i don't forget which side i'm going to sew my pin almost is like an arrow telling me so on this side the strip is still have a quite a bit of length i'm gonna put at least two more pins into it why do i do this because i don't want my machine to grab in the bottom and shift my strip and i'm holding it the one on the top and that way things are not even if i'm pinning everything is nice and secure and then i'm not pulling stretching and everything will come out just fine i'm gonna start sewing here zoom 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 finish next one next one then i'm gonna open it up and i'm gonna press the seams open why do i press the seam open simply because i'm making a nice pillow so i want my pillow to be nice and flat so when i rest my head on it i don't get any bulk and any bumps and opening the seams are really good idea long time ago we have been taught to use 101 quilting you push your seam allowance 
towards the dark. Why did we do this? Because many times we hand quilted in a ditch on the side that had less seams. Also, because the bedding was not as nice quality as we have it today from hubs, we want uh, the seams to be pushed one way so bedding doesn't come up through it. Today was a beautiful bedding and a wonderful machine quilting. We want to keep our blocks as flat as possible, especially on our pillows. So we're going to open those seams, press it, and then we're going to uh, put two sets of tools together, sew it, and in no time, look at this, I have a unit that is already finish set go all my seams i open and this really help pushing uh, the seams open because the red doesn't peek through it and also when i smooth my hands oh does this look feels nice when you finish this part make sure that it measure exactly to match your blue if it does not, you're going to have to either fix your seams and adjust, make sure you use a good quarter inch seam allowance seams. If not, if it's just a tiny smidgen, just trim it a little bit on the top and the bottom. Perfect. We will do the same thing with the larger strip, the longer strips. We're going to place the red on the top of the light. We're going to put pins pins gonna be like an arrow telling us which side to sew once we sew sets of two we're gonna press them beautifully use a nice seam when you press and also i want to remind you when you're sewing make sure you put a fresh needle into your sewing machine the best investment you're going to make for the day and have a pleasant experience if you put a nice fresh needle and i'm gonna use size 70 you can use 70 80 macro text needle are perfect for just straight stitching and you can use orifil thread and i'm using um, you can use the 2370 that goes with many different colors or you can go ahead and take our box from orifil and match the threads exactly or you can go ahead and use the wonderful threads also have beautiful options of blues and reds to match to what we're sewing so sometimes uh, girls ask me would I use a red thread or light thread when I'm sewing those two colors together it really is not gonna make that much difference when I check the seams I thought the red hit better than the light because the light stood up against the red a little bit so it's your personal uh, preference it's not gonna make that much difference. Now, once you sew your sets of two of long strips, in no time, you're going to have the bottom part of your pillow finished. We're gonna press it beautiful. And when you press it, make sure you place it on your ironing board and press it from the top really nice. Now we're gonna take this, place it over, zoom, 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 open it up this seam allowance is gonna go towards the blue then oh i flipped this upside down that's not good i better pay attention what i'm doing then i'm gonna add this to this sew it this again seam is going to be open it's gonna be wonderful at the top and the bottom and our first pillow is finished so we just finished first strippy pillow made in usa i call this one I absolutely love this pillow. It's a perfect gift for uh, any veteran or anybody that you know that fight for this country. I am so proud of you. I think you're ready to do a little bit more strips, but this time we're going to take a different angle on it. So our next pillow that I want to share with you is this pillow right here. I love when the strips are going slightly on the angle. It really looks beautiful and it gives a modern feel to it. But don't let it fool you. You can apply any fabrics into this pillow. Your favorite small print or your favorite polka dots will be perfect chevron on your couch. Let me show you how I make this pillow. We're going to start again. You can go ahead and open a kit. In the kit, all your pieces are already pre-cut for you. Or go ahead, follow directions in our book and, up, uh, and start cutting. 
I'm gonna put this to the side and I already start laying this pillow and start sewing a little bit. Let me get this organized for you. Oh, this is gonna be wonderful. And I randomly did not put too much uh, stress into it, where the color goes. I just enjoyed myself, grab one after the other and put colors down. And then as I was putting the colors down, if purple went next to purple, I flipped it to the other side. I tried to keep a balance, blue, blue, warm, warm, purple, just really nice. And uh, I started by placing my triangle down, sewing this strip first, then this one, pushing the seam allowances towards the strip, then I went for the purple, then I went again and place my orange down, sew it, and I always start from here and sew straight out. Then the next one, take a strip, place it down just like this, and remember what we talk about it? Pin, pin, pin. So with long strips, the one lesson that I want you to remember is use your pins and use your pins not only to hold your fabrics in place, but also to remind you where are you sewing. So right here, zoom, 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 stitch it down. And again, I would have always start from the center, sew out, from the center, sew out. Once this one is finished, again, flip it open, seam allowance towards the blue, this piece, this piece, this piece. In no time, you will be braiding strips together and creating beautiful chevron. I have prepared one already for you and I want to talk to you about the corners on your pillow. On the corners, we're gonna add triangles and they're a little tricky. So I wanna make sure I spend a little bit time with you and we talk about it, how did I do this? Once you finish your strips, you're gonna then go ahead, look at where this blue finished up, this, you're gonna take the point and fold it down like this, okay? Once you fold it down, it gives you a line. This line is another guide that you can use to center up beautifully this triangle, pin in the middle, pin, pin, sew it. I have this one started. Notice I have it overlap here where that seam finish and I want both of them to be the same area. That's why I fold this, made sure that now I have a guide that gives me a direction where I have to place those pieces. So right there, I want you to see it exactly. Do you see it? So this strip finish, I had this fold down to make sure, or you can place a ruler and draw a line and that way you know that those triangles both gonna start at the same place. Pin, 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 sew it, flip it open and now I have a beautiful top. What am I going to do next? I take my ruler, place it right over. That's why I told you, you're gonna use this ruler. 18 and a half inch Creative Grids ruler is one of my personal favorite because I do a lot of applique blocks. So right there, I would place my ruler, center it up. Notice there is a white line right here. Do you see it? Make sure that that white line goes through those points right here. Oh, did a pretty good job. I'm proud of myself. Yeah, why not? And then trim it all the way around and you will trim a little bit here and you have a beautiful chevron pillow now to quilt. And I add a little scallop quilting. Notice the scallop quilting on this one. I use my long arm machine to do it, but you can do that kind of quilting also on your small machine. When I have lines, I like to add curves to uh, as my quilting. Sometimes just quilting in a ditch would complement this design very well. Because I had straight line, I wanted something soft and feminine to it and I did that one. There is another pillow that uses the stri stripes in it and this is amazing pillow to reuse any of your leftover strips from other projects and like I said if 
you just look at, at this pillow and look at the colors you can apply your favorite fabrics big print medium print just used purple blue orange it gives you that same mood and your design is going to be lovely i hope you enjoy a little bit of strip piecing with me i'm so excited you decide to stop by and visit make sure you subscribe to Fat Quarter YouTube channel and if you have a chance visit my YouTube as well. Can't wait to see you again and quilt with you.